Alright, hello YouTube, this is Danny. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing today. I got a reef order coming in. Should have some pretty cool frags up in here. Hopefully everything's alive. Um, I noticed where she shipped them at about 7 o'clock. And they arrived here at 3 o'clock, but that's not really her. That would be FedEx. I was expecting them to arrive a little bit earlier. But that's okay as long as everything's doing good and alive. Get up in here real quick. I hope I don't accidentally puncture any of the plastic bags while I'm opening this. Not be very good. So far, very well packaged. Uh, got a little business card. Phone number if I need a call. Guess if I have any questions. I ordered this off eBay from a seller. I believe they are the Reef Garden, Reef Gardener, on eBay. Got another little billboard up in here. Um, looks like a little frag event maybe. A nice little thing right here. Um, I'll show you all the bottom package. Pretty nice. Um, styrofoam, you know, keep the temperature fit perfectly in the box. It's always good. Let's see what we got in here. I we'll have to set this back over here. one bag uh, just to save storage space mushrooms right here seem to be doing great see that in the camera this is my uh, purple I believe it was pronounced like Corgini something like that it's a photosynthesis plant according to her description set that right there um, this is gonna be my Duncan frag I'll show you all that Thing in here should be. I tried two more, sorry. Ooh, this is probably the bag that is leaking. Oh, this is a bird's nest frag. I'll show you all that. And then one more. Ooh. A very nice frog spawn right here. It's going to have two heads. I believe the description only said one. So I'm kind of pumped about that. Show you all that real good. Gorgini, purple is gonna look a little different in the light. Red mushroom. Duncan frag is closed up. She can't really see that. And then uh bird's nest right here. Get these acclimated and everything, and I'll show you an update when they're in the tank. Thanks, YouTube. Bye. Alright, this is part two. I'm acclimating the corals. This is just my method. Of course, at first uh, I float the bags in here for about 15 minutes probably to get the temperature to stabilize. And then I just do a ghetto method, clean one of the bags out, and then I put some more water in it, hang it with a guitar capo, just cut a little hole in it and just let it drip down into it. Just put a towel around so all the splashes don't get everywhere. But yep, acclimating the corals. Um, this purple one smelled a little funny. When I unbagged it, I'm not sure if this is a coral that dies really fast with transportation. Um, everything else seems to be doing fine. The bird's nest had a few pieces knocked off. But I guess that's just going to happen whenever uh, transportation. But yep, acclimating the corals, I'll put them in and then I'll shoot y'all another video how everything's placed and what all I got.
Alright, thanks YouTube. Alright YouTube, this is part 3. I'm going to show you the new additions real quick. Uh, nothing's really opened up all the way yet, but I literally just got everything all the way in there. I got the purple sea fan, I believe it's pronounced Gorgonia. Um, I'm still worried if this thing's dead or not. It smelled really bad. So, this thing might actually be dead. I don't know how you could tell. I'm not seeing really any polyps on it. Or the part that the person said was fuzzy. So, you know, I'll just have to see on that. Um, red mushroom. It's right here. I'm going to have to check my order invoice. I thought I was supposed to get two of these. Maybe it was one or two. I'll have to check on that. Um, it's going to open up. It's slowly opening up already. It's going to have a great color on it. Real great coral. Um, I got this emerald um, Duncan back there. Let's try to get a good color on it. I can't get the thing to pick up. Um, it's closed, but it's slowly opening up. Um, I got another bird's nest type coral. It's a greenish tint. Similar to mine back there. It seems, but it's more of an actual bird's nest. Got a really great frog spawn. I really hope this thing makes it and opens up. It's got like a nice neon purple on the top. And then like the stems look like they're going to actually be, or tentacles are going to be more of a green color. And I believe that was all the additions I added in here. That's one, two, three, four, five. So I'll show you all another part four once everything opens up. I just wanted to show you as I added it. Alright, hello YouTube, this is Danny, this is part 4 on the corals, this is the next day. First off, do you see anything missing? It's right over here, it was purple. Yeah, the sea fan, I'm um, not sure if it was me or the seller, but it just, it was not doing good. It smelled dead almost when it arrived. Uh, put it in the tank this morning, I looked at it, it was like peeling. It looked like paint was peeling off of it, all the purple is just peeling straight off. Took it out of the tank. You know, it's okay. It wasn't probably going to do that great in here anyway. I was just testing it out. But on the good news, you see anything that looks great. That frog spawn right there. It's a nice purple green. I'll try to get an upper view so you can see the more color variation of it. And it, it looks great. Y'all, that is a great frog spawn I got from them. Um, Other changes. Let's see. The bird's nest ended up placing up here. It's not really opening up as I planned. But it's, it's opening up a little bit more than it was when I first put it in here. You see a little green variation on it from different angles. I think it's wanting to open up. Um, I got that red mushroom they sent me. That's the red cherry mushroom right there. Um, they were supposed to send me two, but I talked to them and I believe I'm getting a partial refund for that. Let's see the Duncan starting to open up. That's going to look great. Yo, I really cannot wait for that coral right there. Emerald Duncan's what uh, they called it. I'm not sure the real name. Definitely a type of Duncan though. And that's the corals I got y'all. And um, it seems like I'm having a bit of some hair algae starting to grow up here. I'm not sure why I'm getting that. You know, I'm having a few problems in this tank right now. The hair algae. And so I aim the, that little head towards it. Maybe help it out. I don't think that Duncan's liking that because it was just opened up before I did that. Might have to readjust that again. Um, you know these candy canes I just they're kind of recovering but then you can see that one head's completely dead right there. Um, you know, I'm just hoping something's gonna help those out. I did another calcium. My calcium is really low so I did do another calcium dosing. These candy canes are not really bouncing back either. You know everything else is doing pretty good my torch is doing great green star pops are always doing great mushrooms and yellow ones are doing great and that um white torch coral I got is doing great and as well as that carpet in it seems to be doing fine and the well those were just open but Mr. Shrimp walked over them those will pop back up you know the red Monty is not fading color so um, something's going on in the tank because now I got my Zoes 
they're just this frag's never really opened up this frag i thought it was from a water change i did a while ago but they're all closed up for some reason these those over here are closed up so uh, clearly something's going on in here that i need to adjust and fix but i just haven't found that yet so patience is a key just hoping this hair algae just i can maintain that i'm probably gonna do a water change Day or tomorrow, maybe help that get going. Maybe that calcium alli uh, alli or alkalinity dose will help that out as well. They do say it kind of helps out with hair algae problems. Um, that's the first time I've really had algae on my rocks like that. So, you know, if anybody has any great advice for that, um, just let me know. Maybe it's just because that rock is new. And it doesn't have any like uh like coralline algae on it maybe that's just a phase it's got to go through because it is a new rock um it also i'm thinking one factor might be my temperature is went up to 80. so i turned down my heater and i have it open right now so hopefully that'll help cool it down back to 79 78 it's where i'm aiming for so maybe just the heat is uh making the zoos close up and then the algae to bloom a bit but um yeah that's the nano fire that's the end of part four i'm just going to show you a quick view of the uh large tank i showed y'all where i put the ai hydro on and um everything's looking great in here i did put one of the zoophrags in here to test it they have not opened up i'm thinking it might just be my zoos that i had in that tank before they never really did open up over there and then i also put a small birds piece frag and it's actually Looking like it's doing a lot more green in this tank than it was in my Nano, so maybe that light over there is just not strong enough for all the corals I want to grow in the Nano. But yeah, so I'll just probably move a lot of my uh, corals that need light into this tank. I'm definitely going to blast this thing up full of corals. And that's it, YouTube. Thanks for watching.